we continue section 15.4 last time we derived the uh, uh, generating function for the associated legendary polynomial last time when we and I write the uh, generating function I probably didn't have the minus 1m uh, factor so we define a little differently for, than the textbook now I for your textbook write it this way now it's, that will give you all the script P uh, Lm so this is a, a generating function for all the script P for a given M so this is G M so the generate uh, recurrence formula can be derived from this relation by like take the derivative of either X and T so you get uh, two recurrence relation recurrence formula one is uh, when you take the derivative with respect to T, then you relate all the uh, polynomial for a given M related to different L. And if you take the derivative of with respect to X, you get the relation uh, between the derivatives and the function. So uh, for a given L, M, you have two, but then there's actually uh, turns out to have another one that you can relate different L and different M, kind of mix them together. So we'll start with um, taking the derivative of the generating function with respect to t. And that would be uh, kind of the easier one to do. And uh, in fact, that, uh, instead of taking the, just the derivative of, of g sub m with respect to t, we multiply dg dt with the same factor. So what we'll do is 1 minus 2xt plus t squared and partial g sub m partial t. Okay, so um, we can do this derivative uh, for the left hand side and the right hand side. Okay, so now we we we'll do it for the left hand side first so this is uh, when you take the derivative over the this factor you get the m minus m minus m plus one half factor first and then multiply by this divided by this factor which we multiply by this factor so basically cancel with that and so you have a uh, uh, and then you still end up to have the same factor here and you still have the minus 1m and they multiply by the derivative over this factor so that would be minus 2x plus 2t so you have minus 2x plus 2t okay and divided by this factor Okay, so and then you have the minus one of this factor. But anyway, uh, you can simplify that by use, using this the, the GM again. So, so this is exactly this one. If you include all the factor here, and you can write it like uh, this is. 2 multiplied by that, so we got 2m plus 1, and then this is x minus t, and the rest is just gm, okay, g sub m. And g sub m, you can use, use this formula, okay, so this becomes g sub m is just s equals to 0, sum of s from 0 to infinity. Could P S plus M M T to the S power. Okay, so that's the derivative over the right hand side. Now the derivative over the left hand side is equals to sum over. Uh, as as you keep the. 
give this factor first. So one minus two x t plus t square and sum over that's from zero to infinity. So the derivative of t zero s square p s plus m m t to the s minus one factor. Okay, so no, so this one equals to this one. So all together, you can see that uh, uh, there are terms that involve just uh, a constant times this one. You have t times this one, t squared times this one. You have constant times this one and t times this one. Okay, and in order to get the relationship out of this, you want to make it uh, the same series of the same power. Say, for example, you choose the less everything is proportional t, or the sum is t to the s power. Okay, so um, so the way to do it, uh, you can do it one by one. So this one. The first one is uh, sum of s from zero to uh, infinity, but this is s minus one, okay? And for s equals zero, actually this is actually uh, when we do it, do it, it actually is zero, okay? But uh, now we can shift the summation from uh, uh, now. This is uh, if we call this s. The new s, so then uh, this become s plus one. So infinity. This becomes s plus one. This becomes script, and this is s plus m plus one. So that's the first term, and then you have minus two x, and t multiplied by t it cancel with the negative one power so this is actually fine so that's script p plus m power t to the s power <coughs> okay now t square term is uh, now t square will make this uh, s plus one okay and the sum will actually start from s from 1 to infinity but uh, we'll not uh, pay too much attention at the lower limit because we want to find a general formula and then uh, the, for the special case of uh, the boundary values we'll just uh, figure it out uh, uh, particularly so uh, so we will just uh, shift the t for this one. So yes, t multiplied that it becomes s plus one. You shift it to s, so all this s becomes uh, s minus one. So this is s minus one square p s plus m minus one m t to the s. Okay, so. So this is all this in, in the here, and you do the same thing for this, well, the right hand side, okay, for the for the first factor it doesn't matter because it doesn't involve involve t. So sum of s from zero to infinity, okay, and. Uh, just there's an x so, uh, there's an x here and script p s plus m and t s and then there's a uh, this factor is uh, similar to this factor because it's t to the s plus one so you plus two uh, m plus one and now, for this one, there's no x, so 
actually there's a minus sign, this is minus 2n plus 1, sum over as 1 to infinity, square p, s plus m minus 1, m, and t to the s. Okay, so now you have, uh, oh, this is t to the s. Everything is proportional to t to the s. Okay, so now you can just uh, say that for each t to the power s, the order uh, factor in front should be add up to zero. So, uh, so that's what we'll put out. So, your s plus one terms square p s plus m plus one. Okay, and now you have minus 2x s square p s plus m m plus s minus 1 square p s plus m minus 1 m equals to now the right hand side you have 2m plus 1 and you have x times script p s plus m minus just uh, just minus p s plus m minus 1 m Okay, and now you see that uh, you have s plus m, you have s plus m minus 1, you have s plus m plus 1, s plus m plus 1. So you can uh, now group those, those together. So you have s plus m plus 1. So s plus m you have here, you have x times s plus m. So all together you have, uh, this is just uh, right. Group those together. Yes. Just write it one more time. And then this is uh, pull, pull those together out. So you have minus x times uh, 2s minus 2m, or 2s minus m. And uh, when you pull it to minus, but you you have a minus sign here, so two s s two s plus m, and then uh, plus one p s plus m m. And for this one, you combine this two. You have s minus one. And plus 2m plus 1, so you get, get basically get which of this minus 1. So it's plus minus 2m, a plus 2m, because this is minus sign. So p s plus m minus 1 m. That equals to zero. Okay. Now this should be the uh, recurrence formula, but uh, you another way you can do it is to to shift that. So this one uh, this one should be equals to uh, fifteen point equation fifteen point eighty three s plus one minus two m plus s plus 1 times x and then this is s plus 2m then script p s plus m minus 1 so this is equation 15.83 but uh, uh, you can uh, make it uh, nicer by defining the l is s plus m so to make those uh, say like this is 
P square P L M. Okay. So, so basically F becomes S is L minus M. So this is S is L minus M plus one square P L plus one M minus X. And then that this is two L plus one square P. This is just L and M plus S plus M S plus two M S is L minus M so L minus M plus M is L plus M. times script P L minus one M equals to zero. So that's uh, that's the equation fifteen point eighty four. Okay. All right. So this is the recurrence formula for associated agenda uh, polynomial. But uh, we actually can also get uh, uh, the recurrence formula for associate Legenda function because we you remember that uh, PLM is just uh, 1 minus x squared to the m over 2 power times squared PLM. Okay, so by just because these all these uh, of the same m, if you multiply by one minus x squared to the m over two power of throughout the equation, then uh, this you get exactly the same uh, recurrence formula for the associated agenda function. Let's write it like here. So, so. This one, you basically just changes everything to uh, associate agenda function. So you have L minus M plus one, P L plus one M minus um, two L plus one, X times P L M plus L plus M. L minus one M equals to zero. <coughs> so this one is uh, basically um, equation fifteen point eighty eight. Okay, so uh, that's the first recurrence formula.